Hey guys, so I'm back in my Maverick today and I'm still tinkering around every now and then uh, but what I want to do today is I want to add a video camera and I I think I could add a video camera right here pretty nice a dash camera and I think I might have the solution for it and it's this guy right here and we're gonna see how well I could hide the wires and have a clean wiring setup let's give it a shot have this Sarmert dash cam I think that's how you pr pronounce it Sarmert uh, it's a 64 gig dash cam so that's plenty of memory for me but what's nice is it's 4k so it's gonna be a nice sharp video camera let's open it up see what it looks like packaging is pretty nice so there's here's the camera itself I think it's a pretty nice looking camera. It's going to mount up on my dash like this. It'll be pretty streamlined. Not ugly at all. That's a good thing. It's got the charging cables. So this is for the cigarette adapter. Cigarette adapter cable. Um, let's see what we have here. There's a pry tool if you want need to pry something out. That's pretty nice having not everyone has a pry tool so that's cool some st sticking things for your routing is the rear camera okay and this is the looks like it's the routing for the rear camera it's plugs in there the wires of course it's going to have to be much longer because it's going to the rear okay so that's what it looks like coming out of the box let's plug it in so what I'm thinking is installing it right here. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to clean it up with some alcohol, clean the surface, install the camera. So here's the camera and I want to mount it somewhere like right here where it kind of sits. See it's offset so I want to kind of make it line up towards the middle right there and, and mount it something like this. Okay so it comes with this electrostatic tape thing. And now I could stick this onto the dotted line. Seems easy enough. Okay, so for the rear camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick it right onto this little platform thing right there. And I think that should fit pretty well. It's going to tuck in and hide away pretty well. So I'm going to install it there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, no fancy routing. I'm just gonna route it through the back of the seat, down, and then stick it underneath here. All right, so the wire just goes down there through the back. It comes out right here. I'm gonna stick it underneath here, and then bring it out underneath that. So I just lifted this thing up. There's a tab that clicks in. I'm going to slide the wires underneath and around. All right, now once it's here, it's pretty easy. You just shove underneath. Shove it underneath all the way down. So you can see I have the wires just tucked underneath all the way up. And now it's up here. Try and do this with one hand, but I could tuck it in and then route it up through there underneath. So now that I got the wire routed all the way up there, I'm gonna stop for a second and then route the line from the video camera up and around and down so that I could put the excess line right here. I don't want the excess line to be at the end over here where there's no room. So the excess line will be in this area here under, underneath the plastic of course. Right, so how to remove this cover from the rear view mirror 
So what you have to do is you got to get a plastic pry tool or something like that. Uh, you don't want to use a screwdriver if you could avoid something that hard. And you want to just pry it open. All right. You can see the, the tabs are here, 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 and here. So there are four points right here. So those are where that's where you want to pry it off. Okay, here's what it looks like underneath that cover. Here are the tab points, there and there. So there's a rubber thing that keeps this there, keeps it attached so it doesn't fall off. So that's cool. Anyway, so now I'm going to do the routing. Okay, so for the routing on this guy, I'm just going to tuck them underneath here. Just gently lift out and tuck underneath. You can use that pry tool to push it in if you like. Push the wire in. And when you get over here, you'll want to tuck it in here so that you can come down this side. That pry tool is pretty handy in this scenario. I'm going to route it all the way down. Of course, with the power line, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pre-route it underneath. All right, so I routed, did the same thing. I stuffed all the wires underneath and just showing you the end. So I pried this out. I'm gonna shove all the wires underneath there. And uh, the extra video line will just be in this area right here, crumbled up. And I'm gonna route the power line underneath through there and to get to my cigarette lighter. All right, so now it's all nice and tucked away. The the video line is tucked in there and it goes underneath and here's the power I'm just gonna stick it underneath and route it to my cigarette lighter okay so now it tucks underneath there comes out I'm gonna shove it all underneath and it's gonna come through to my cigarette lighter and then I'm gonna tuck all the wires underneath there. All right, so now that it's cleaned up, moving up here, I'm gonna put all this back and plug it in and try it out. All right, snapped everything back in. Let's take a look at it. That's the way it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty clean wiring. Let's download the app and right, give it I a got shot. The app loaded, so let's power everything up. See the lights are on down there. Wi-Fi is on. 5G Wi-Fi. So she says the Wi-Fi is on. 5G Wi-Fi. And the recording started. So let's uh, take a look. All right, so once you connect to the local Wi-Fi of the camera, it'll be connected. You can see from this picture that the rear view video is upside down because the camera was made to go the other way to be mounted from the top. All right, so I was able to remove the rear view uh, from the screen. And what you can do now is you could go a big view if you want of what you're trying to look at. Uh, the rear view, I think, will just have to be inverted for upside down for right now because this thing was made to be mounted from the top and not from the bottom. Uh, I, I can't flip this guy, of course. All right, I decided that if ever I do need to look at the footage, I can easily uh, flip it on my PC or, what, or my phone, whatever I'm looking at it. I don't need it, this as a rear view reverse camera because the Maverick has that. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I like the way it looks like that. <laughs> 